Good morning um, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Catherine. Happy Sunday. Um, it is the 28th. It's pretty much the end of the month, y'all. I am um, about to go ahead and prep our lunch slash dinner. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it's going to be or how I'm going to feel a little bit later, but I'm going to cook exactly what I'm not really cooking. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make what I did for yesterday. So yesterday I tried out something that I've kind of been wanting for a good minute, um, which is tuna. I never crave tuna. I'm not a big tuna person, but this was really, really good. It does not look appetizing, but I promise you it is bomb. Um, so right now on the stove, I have um, four eggs um, and I'm just gonna hard boil them. Um, I have two avocados and I'm going to go ahead and cut these up, dice them, put in a bowl. And then I have a yellow onion. It's probably going to be a fourth of a cup of onions that I'm going to add in there. And then lime and salt. And it was so good, you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. I have had um, some chili this morning. Um, I wasn't really feeling eggs this morning at all. Um, so chili it was, it was amazing. I added two tablespoons of sour cream and I had some pork rinds and used it as a dip. It was absolutely delicious. <laughs> but now the chili is gone, I gotta find something else. Um, like I said, this concoction that I just threw together yesterday <laughs> It was absolutely, it was really good, so. I'm just gonna add some salt and I may or may not add another can of tuna. I don't really good. 
I might just leave it. Add those. I split that in half and I share it with my husband. <clears throat> like I said, um, I could really just eat this by itself. Um, but I like to use it as a dip. I'm watching my kiddo. Um, I like to use it as a dip. So I'll add, um, I'll pair it with like um, pork rinds. Um, you can also pair it with some wasp crackers. Those are really, really good. Um, but I really try to limit um, like crackers or even the carb balance um, tortillas and things like that. Keto bread. I try to limit that to just one day a week. That's usually a Saturday for me. Um, so yeah, pork rinds. Um, yeah, that will probably be like right in the middle between lunch and dinner kind of hours. Um, and I may try to just have a protein shake for my actual dinner. Um, so yeah. Um, I will see you guys back when it is time for my workout. You know, we are definitely working out. Um, the 75 Soft Challenge has really pushed me to challenge myself, honestly. <laughs> But at the end of the night, just reading that book and just kind of de-stressing from the day has been so helpful. So, I do really like that part of the challenge. <laughs> but I'll see y'all for my workout.
guys so I just finished my workout it was decent enough um, my on my left side my hip and my ankle have been killing me all day today um, so we kind of had to adjust what I was gonna do from workout but nonetheless I worked out I do feel better that I did one um, so I'm not hungry <laughs> Um, the avocado egg tuna salad was very, very filling. Um, so it's just going to be a protein shake. I do want to get at least a shake in, um, after that workout. So, almond milk. I do use the unsweetened vanilla kind. Um, and I just do 10 ounces. Four tablespoons is what it calls for. And of course, my protein. Um, this is the caramel cookie crunch. It's absolutely amazing. I love it by itself. Um, but I am going to add a tablespoon of peanut butter because it makes it feel more like a dessert. This is the one. I absolutely love this one. Um, I used to be just a full on chocolate girly. If I was going to have a protein shake, it was going to be chocolate, but I'm so glad I got to try this one. Um, the guy at, uh, the store actually recommended it. So I was like, okay, I'll just try that then. Tablespoon out. And I'm gonna do peanut butter just because I want a little bit of extra flavor. Okay. And then just do one tablespoon. And I am using regular peanut butter, y'all. I know it would be so much better with the BB2, but and a lot less points. But this is all I got right now, and that's what we're going with. And when I want something cold, I do this exact thing, and I just put it in the freezer, and it, y'all, it legit tastes like ice cream. Mm -hmm. And it's like the perfect little snack at the end of the night. It's like, it's so good. has little cookie pieces in it if I haven't told you before so good um and I was gonna cook tomorrow's dinner but y'all I'm tired and I really don't feel like being on my feet because my ankle hurts I really just want to relax <laughs> tonight you guys I'm gonna enjoy this protein shake I'm gonna relax I'm gonna read my book um, I'm definitely reading more than 10 pages um, I have thoroughly enjoyed just at the end of the night sitting on the couch drinking my tea or drinking or eating a nice cold protein shake um, and just reading the book it has just from the screaming, <laughs> depending on how bad it was that day, or just how stressful. Mom's stress, y'all. Um, 
I've seriously thoroughly enjoyed just a little bit of quiet time to read and actually hear my own thoughts. But yeah. But anywho, I will see y'all tomorrow for a workout. It's gonna be a cardio day. Um, and we'll see. I honestly may be another weight day depending on how um, my ankle and my hip feel. Hopefully they feel a lot better. I'm gonna try and stretch it out. See if I can hopefully get something working. But I'm not going to miss tomorrow, okay? Um, but yeah, guys. I hope y'all have a great week. Um, I will keep y'all I'm gonna go enjoy some time with my kiddos before they go to bed. But have a great week. I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>